Gundam Vidar. My first ever painted kit way back 2018. Way back then, I am so naive about painting. I did not even use a primer on this kit. But there is one thing in particular I like about Vidar. The inner frame. And I only use a marker to paint the small details of these frames. So let's repaint the inner frame of Gundam Vidar. Okay, so welcome back to the channel and before we start shout out to my classmate way back in high school January Viralio for lending me his Compressor and airbrush. So bro, thank you so much and also to this guy Davin or Davin Labitad for having me this kit and thank you both of you guys. Uh, thank you so much I can't thank you enough. So Let's start and review the weapons first. So let's have the rifle first. Basically it's very simple and the good thing about this weapon is very easy to insert with the hand of Vidar. Articulation of the arms is very strong. It can hold the rifle even with the extended arms. This is a burst saber, Vidar's main armament. You can slide it backwards and attach the blade. Now check this one guys. If you watch the Attack on Titans, they have the same main armament with Vidar. And not just that, you can stow the rifle right into it. Nice. These handguns are located inside in front of the skirt. Very effective for close distance shooting weapon. Now these are the Hunter's Edge. This close combat weapon is a pair of blades that extends from the tip and the heel of the foot and are stored in the armor. Very useful in terms of kicking and stomping with the blades. Now guys, wanna see something cool? Let's check and watch a short clip that we does in action. I know. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So this is the manual and and the box looks like this as well. The back, you can see it here, the the weapons, the main armaments, and also the paint color guide. Now let's flip it inside. And here at the top you can see the inner frame. And you can read here, truly experience the reality of the inside of the armor. Alright, nice. So here, yep. Now before we continue, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that you won't miss a thing. Okay, so now we are here at the main content. Now we are going to repaint the inner frame and also the small details on it. 
But you know what guys, every time I look at this inner frame, I'm having a thought of this. Or this. <laughs> a joke. Okay, these are the paints that we are going to use. And let's start with this. This is a lead belcher from Citadel for the main frame. And also we have two kinds of silver here or steel for the hands and small parts. And also with the two tons of gold. So let's begin. <laughs> Now notice here guys that I did not remove the leg armor it's because if you can see those belt thrusters as far as I can remember I glued them because I was kind of anxious that they always fell so um, that's how the remedy as far as I can think <laughs> but to stick them into a glue but anyway continue guys enjoy watching So let's check the progress so as you can see 
it's well enhanced it's pretty clear now it's getting brighter so let's continue Now, by the way guys if you are about to hand paint or if you have any projects that you are planning to do with the hand paint make sure that you're using a hobby grade paints like what I'm having here right now it's because if you are planning to use the marker what will happen to the paints is it will fade same as what you saw from the early minute of this content so that's why I decided to repaint it and using a, a hobby grade paints and make sure also that it is a water base because if you get a small smudges at the side if you get mistaken or some errors you don't have to worry much it's because you're just gonna clean it by water yes you heard it right it's just a water you're just gonna have you just have a what we call this one a cotton buds then dip into the water and then try to scrape all those errors then it will gone very very easy so stick to the hybrid paints all right so continue now this is the first time i will use a water-based top coat yes water-based top coat and what i did i use also with the hand brush and uh, same process guys two coats i use two coats and then i just cover everything that has has paint and um, so far so good just give it a chance to to dry or to cure don't try to touch anything yet so make it make sure that you leave it by at least an hour yeah so so far so good no regrets uh, it, it really holds well it, it shines it's really nice and the downside of this is just you're just gonna you if, if you're just gonna use in the hand brush make sure that you're using a bigger one not that one I'm having here right now it's because uh, for the sake of this video I'm just trying to be, be cautious <laughs> so what would be the outcome for this but anyway everything's everything's fine and serves on its purpose so for those who are hobbyists they are if they are not fond into airbrushing if you are they are more onto hand painting well this is for you guys and the good thing also about this paints are they have no fumes they are very easy to to clean if you make a mess so so have fun guys So that's it guys and I hope you enjoyed the video and if I miss something or if you want to add something please leave a comment below and I would love to hear from you guys until then till next time and God bless peace out thank you for watching